And welcome back, this is Ballers with an episode of Let's Play Xeno Gears. When we last left off, we, well, we defeated Opiumorph, which was kind of cool, and then we got some scenes after that, yeah. Let's move on, though. We are ready to continue on. We lost maybe Faye, maybe Ellie, who's to say who we lost? Uh, yes, we have Satan, so who knows who we lost? God. The interplanetary invasion weapon Deus had awakened in its arc. Merkava was activated. Deus began to absorb, one after the other, the mutated people destined to be its parts, while the non-mutated would eventually only become a threat to it, to exterminate us and our civilization. It's set into action. The planet's surface was devastated by Merkava and the weapons born from out of it, called the Seraph Angels. There are a ton of them. Seraph, uh, yeah, Seraphim, the, the highest order of angels, the Archangels. Welltal's there. While pursuing the newly awakened Deus, we chanced upon Fay, whose whereabouts had hitherto been lost, along with his gear Welltal, discovered together at the place where Merkava was originally located. We were overjoyed by Faye's return, but it was short-lived. For some unknown reason, Faye was found in a state of suspended an animation. He did not regain consciousness. It's not good, Satan. The people of Shavat and we ourselves feared a relapse of Faye's, no, Id's power, and had no choice but to put Faye into Carbonite Freeze. That doesn't look like Han Solo at all. It's not Carbonite. You guys don't know Carbonite. What? Why is this swinging in the back for, for Satan? I shouldn't do that. Is that Queen Zephyr? How you doing, Queen Zephyr? Your Majesty. Why do the people of Shavat fear Faye so much, even if Groff and Id's powers are comparable? It is not that we fear him. We fear the error we ourselves committed, and now we are simply trying to put a lid on it. The error that you yourselves committed? Shavat instigated a battle 500 years ago to gain our independence from Solaris. However, we became overcome with the lust for power, fearing the war-torn people's will would no longer be with Shavat, but with the Nissan mother, and that the people would assemble under Sophia. Council of Elders of Shavat back then made a deal with Solaris. A deal? Yes. At the time, Solaris, or the Gazelle Ministry to be exact, were at odds with a woman who held the real power behind the scenes. Would that happen to have been Mie? Most probably it was. Fearing the increasing power of the masses assembling in Nice on the, the Gazelle Ministry schemed to hand over to us their antagonist, Miang, and promised a division of the rulership over the Earth's surface. But in exchange, we had to give them the rebel army that had assembled in Nissan and also their patron, Sophia. The leaders of Shavat accepted, and it was decided that Nissan would be the location of the final decisive battle with Solaris. Shavat did not participate in that battle, thwarted by the awesome numbers of the Solarian army, and with their path of retreat cut off, the Nissan rebel army ran out of options and was destroyed. Cut up in the middle of all this was Lakan, Bart's ancestor Rumi, myself, and Krellian. You were also there. Yes, surrounded on all sides, we were prepared to die. And then the rebel force's flagship appeared with Sophia on board. She sacrificed herself so as to create a path for our retreat. Sophia's ship headed straight for the enemy's main ship on a suicide attack. No, not Sophia. It's even an old-timey video format in the FMV. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, 
That wasn't good. Wasn't good at all. Thanks to Sophia's sacrifice, we were able to survive. However, her death forever changed the fate of two men. Well, like Krellian, okay. Krellian and Lycan, I assume? Krellian, who followed closely under her as the leader of the Nissan Sex Militia, completely lost faith after calling out to a god that would not respond. I will create god with my own hands. Were the last words he uttered before he disappeared. And Lycan. He resented himself for not having the power to do anything while she died in front of him. So he began to search for the legendary power. The legendary power? <sighs> Satan, that was so obvious. God's resting place, Mahanon. The source of divine wisdom, Raziel. And the animal relics which were created by that very wisdom. Besides these, there is one more legend. And that is... Zohar. Zohar? That has the same name as the Zohar modifier, the power reactor that Niang spoke of, saying it was the infinite energy source of God Deus, which he claimed is also the source of our ether powers and the driving force of all our gears. It would have to be one and the same thing. It is the place that contains the ultimate source of this world's power. It is said that only he who has the correct destiny would be able to discover its location. Losing all faith in humanity, Lakan sought after its power. Lakan became Groff, and the world collapsed. This tragedy happened because of the people's lust for power. I must take part of the responsibility for not having been able to stop it. And now, Faye, the one who has the same power as Groff, we just wanted to seal up that dreadful power that arose from our own sinful deeds. That's... that's an awful story, apparently. <laughs> Did not think it was going to be that bad. But that's the, the Nissan incident, then. Groff. The man once known as Lakan sought after the power of Zohar. The one who has the same power as Groff, Faye. I had this premonition that Faye, too, would awaken and seek out that power. And that presentiment became reality. Presentiment. So he's after the legendary power. Awesome, I guess. What? What, what am I looking at here? It's very purple. Oh, this is the the dungeon under under Shavat. I remember this place. I remember it good. I assume Faye's in here somewhere. You can just you know show me Faye. We don't have to do the slow pant. Thank you. There he is. Frozen in carbonite. That's not what it's supposed to look like at all. Come on. That one, that one's not even an obscure Star Wars reference. Like it's a trap. This, this is a main plot point of the Star Wars... <sighs> Whatever. I don't like the sound of his heartbeat. Oh! Where am I? Who am I? This is my memory. Doc. Bart. Ricardo Bandanas. Billy. Wise Man. Yeah, who's Wise Man? Croft. Nobody else is important, apparently. Everyone. My memories. Ellie! Ellie! Mother? Oh! That's kind of creepy. Like, the, the spirit that was in Faye's mother is now in Faye's girlfriend. Damn, Oedipus Complex out of nowhere. Not even his fault. Ah, the freaking kid. Who are you? I'm surprised. That's pretty clever. You are, id. I misjudged you. I didn't expect you. The fake personality would create a fourth persona. Fourth persona? He can't feel anything. He's shut up inside your ego. The pressing facts and truths you won't face. You're afraid of them, so you desire to completely shut yourself off from the outside world. 
And so you formed a fourth persona, a fourth Fae. The name doesn't matter. She's the one on the stage, the one who's in control of our body. But it is a useless form of resistance. Come with me. Wait, what are you doing? He has the key. I really want to borrow it. I've got to go somewhere. Are you coming too? And then the lights go out. So, Id's trying to take over Faye. No, this can't be good. Roni. Now have to come up with new voices? How dare you? Come on, guys, eat up. You haven't been able to get this kind of food around here lately, have you? Well, this is also due to my business savvy. Renee. What's wrong, they can? You look kind of down. What's bothering you? Are you worried about something? It's nothing. I'm just thinking about painting Sophia. I don't know why I agreed to do her portrait. Sophia? You mean your childhood friend who's now the holy me mother of Nissan? No, the other Sophia. What the hell? Of course that's Sophia. She's not really a childhood friend. I just made her acquaintance at the monastery near my home when I was a child. She went to the clinic there for convalescence. She was frail. So, what are you worried about painting her for? She does not wish herself to become a symbol of her sect. Actually, it seems she wasn't interested in having her portrait painted at first. But, when she heard I would be the painter, she turned around and agreed. That's why I don't understand. I see. Then, she must like you. What are you talking about? That's how women are. Right, Krillian? Hey, Krell! Huh? What's up? You're not having any. It's ready to eat. Ah, uh, yeah. The Holy Mother of Nissan, huh? What? Are you out to defend Divine Providence or something they can? Cut it out. It's not like that. What? You've got to lighten up a little. He hand him a doobie. That's what the kids call it these days, don't they? Doobies. Damn me and my 60s terminology. Sophia first showed me what books are the best way to calm the heart. And now I'm hooked on reading. I'm not trying to brag, but I've learned a lot of things I never knew before. Lately, I've been reading this. What is it? Something I borrowed from Melchior. It's about a form of molecular engineering, nanotechnology. I believe it's a book found in the ancient ruins of the Zebuim civilization. It's a copy of someone's research report, but it's incomplete. I think there were even more wonderful things written in it, but we'll never know now. Why does he have, like, bluish-purple hair? Whatever. I'm not gonna think too hard about it. What's wrong? You don't look so good. This is Sophia, even though it says Ellie. That's kind of her nickname. Lately, you've seemed melancholy almost every day. Has something happened? I don't know. I just can't paint right now. Sorry, but do you mind if we stop here for today? I see. It is not good to push yourself too hard. Why don't you rest up for a little while? I'll have Krillian take you. No, not Krillian. Things don't work out well for Krillian. Uh-oh, the scary music. Even so, there was a time when I did some pretty vicious things. And also...